Hello, Johnny. Hello, Joe. Nice to be back here. Welcome. You can see on the table, I have some news challenges. We get more, more and more requests from the food industry, picking up fruits, uh, chocolate pieces, cookies, even bread. And uh, you know, we like vacuum, but it's kind of get, it's get difficult to pick parts like this with suction cups. Uh, we don't get the grip or we destroy the, the surface. Uh, I've heard about soft grippers. Do you know anything about soft grippers? I mean, with mechanical grippers, we also tend to destroy these pneumatic me mechanical grippers. Are you aware of anything? Yeah, uh, matter of fact, I am. I, wow. we, there's a new product that come out here recently that's pretty interesting that uses vacuum. Do you have it? I have it here. Wow. This is a complete family of different uh, vacuum-actuated grippers. grippers. Vacuum-actuated? Yes, so they use vacuum to, to compress the fingers, uh, and that tends to be more gentle to the product. With compressed air-driven pneumatic grippers, it's more difficult to control the force, the pinch force, when you try to grip, it. grip, grip and, and, and pick up a product. Maybe you can demonstrate for me. Absolutely. Okay, so before we go ahead and test those soft grippers, maybe you can, uh, uh, you can test the suction cup and see the problems we get into. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, pick on some of these parts and you will see what, what kind of issues we get when we try to pick them. Let's try this. Uh, try that chocolate, chocolate ball. ball. And then, see? And then, of course, the cup is a little bit big as well. And the avocado. Ah, it actually works. Works. Yeah, there are some marks I can see. Yeah, it can pick it, but try yeah, to you, you you get marks. You get marks, sure. yeah. And that's no one wants to buy tomatoes with marks on it. No, I try never... the bread. Oh yeah, yeah. that's big not marks. that's not big sellable. Marks. So Johnny, uh, can you demonstrate for me how the yes. soft grip vacuum based soft grip works? Maybe you can pick on that chocolate ball. Let's try the chocolate ball. Wow, you, that's a good grip. And you get about almost 50 kPa. Wow. And it's still pretty gentle. Yeah, and the tomato. Yeah, that's good. Maybe the larger one is the best. Yeah, I would think so. This tomato is quite yeah. good. What, big, so. what about the bread? And then we can use this two finger, two finger version. Oh, that's a super grip. Now this... Soft Would it be possible to pick with two also? Yes, and that's I've seen cases when they, when they use it like this on bigger okay. breads. Then you can control it a lot easier. Wow, when that's you... good. What about that small uh, piece Smiley. of... Ah, that's a good grip. And I see no marks on it. Uh, well, let's try the small chocolate balls here. I guess these one can pick, but they are a little bit big because on the packaging... Uh, uh, line they come quite um, close together. Close together. Yeah, so you, we need something smaller. You need something smaller. And this smaller one could work could quite be, well, I think. Yeah. And it, that's it's good. Very gentle. Yeah. Then we'll we have to try the big one. Yeah. We, let's try this tomato once more. Yeah, that's a nice now grip. It's, it's yeah. really nice. Orange. Uh, that's okay, though. Picking really good. Okay, Johnny, I can see that we can pick this chocolate ball, but I also saw when you were picking that it created marks on it. Yes. So is it any way possible to control the, the pinch force of the, of the fingers? Yes, and that, that's one of the, the unique things with this product is that it's, because of it's uh, vacuum actuated, we can control the nose, nozzle quite easily by feeding it with less compressed air. Okay. So a regular regulator is working really good for that. So just adjusting the feed pressure into adjusting the ejector. The feed, exactly. Wow, that's simple. But uh, this one now is almost 60 kPa. Yeah, and that will, as you can see, yeah, I see it make great marks. marks. But we can turn it down a little bit. Yeah, let's see. So now you adjusted the feed pressure. Now I adjusted the feed pressure too. To a much lower level. And yeah, and then it picks, then it picks much easy. more softer. Yes. This is one of the most challenging uh, cookies we have ever, ever <coughs> tried to pick. Uh, super sensitive. Can you try it with that big one, maybe? Good. That works fine. Impressing. Okay, Johnny, so 
this is, it, it is a closed system, which is very good for, for, I mean, we don't have to clean the vacuum hose or anything, so that's super. But a reflection I made was that the vacuum ejector was running all the time during the grip. If it's a closed system, wouldn't it be possible to turn off the ejector and save energy? Absolutely. But then Absolutely. you run into problem with the release, or? Yes, but you could, there are systems for that as well. Okay. And, and here, here I put together a, a system that this product is actually made for a completely different industry, but it demonstrates very well what you can do with an energy saving system in a closed system like this product. Since, as you say, it is a closed system, so you can turn off the vacuum oh. Can you demonstration. So that now the ejector will turn off? Yeah. It will pick and then turn off? Yes. Show me. Wow. And so release. now you return, releases really Show fast. More. That's fantastic. So super, it turns on. Super ener energy efficient. Doesn't use any uh, compressed air at all. At Not least even. A, mi a minimum. A minimum to generate. Minimum. Yeah. And also when you release it, it only uses the atmospheric so air. So no, no blow air. No blow air at all. No compressed air at all. Fantastic. So uh, actually much more energy efficient than running the ejector or vacuum pump all the time with cups. Absolutely. And then, of course, if you can control it and, and steer at what level you want to turn it off, then you can also be very Picking efficient the, the, the soft stuff. stuff. Yes, very carefully. Very good. So to conclude a bit, uh, seems like it's important to pick the right size. Yes. Uh, and also right type. You have the two finger, three finger, four finger. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the pinch force can e easily be controlled. So no damage yes. on the object. And you have to practice a little bit to find the right, yeah. the, the right level. And it fits very good with the food industry. It's uh, washed down. It's, yes. uh, it's a high, uh, good hygiene product. Yeah, there, there are multiple choices and fittings. Uh, if you don't need the washdowns, uh, there is a big variety of different fittings. Okay, and then I think the most impressive thing, it can be super energy efficient. Just generate vacuum to, to, That's one to get of the, the grip. I would say, because you, then you can control it very easily and you can actually save a lot of air. Thank you very much, Jonny. I will John. be back. Uh, absolutely. You're welcome.